guys, so Lord here back again with another review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Mattel Masterverse Master of the Universe Revelation Faker. This is a deluxe figure in the Masterverse Revelation line, and for the time being is a first to market target exclusive. So you know what? <sighs> but fear not, it is only temporarily gonna be a pain in the butt to get this guy from Target. He has popped up on the website, but I got this guy in the store. And for those of you who are picking this guy up in the store, you will notice a pretty drastic price difference. Not sure what's up with that, but if you can try to price match it with the website, it's only 20 bucks on there. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky, but you know, maybe it'll work for you. But with that being said, fear not. This is only temporarily going to be a Target exclusive. Places like Walmart, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, and the like will eventually get this guy. So you can order him there if you don't want to put up Target's BS. Or you're just boycotting him because, well, Target. But with that said, I have to say, this is a very awesome addition to the Masterverse line. And next to Skeletor is probably my second favorite from this line that I have so far because I don't have Wave 2, I don't have Skurglow, but I do have this guy and I have to say he's pretty awesome for what he is. I actually omit some of the issues I had with this line prior to getting a hold of this guy. So, getting into the accessories, he does come with the alternate hands, the same ones that He-Man had. He's got the grip hand for the right side and the turn your head and cough hand for the left side. I use the grip hand when it comes to the shield because it just holds onto it better, but you can use that if you want. He also comes with two alternate heads. He's got a very emo looking He-Man head. I mean, look at that hair. That's, that's like mid 2000s hard rock band hair. A little bit too emo for uh, our bumbling boob He-Man, who's always kind of cheerful and chivalrous and just a stand-up guy. This is just all, I don't like you. You suck. <laughs> and then we also got the very different for Faker robot head, which gives me Metallo Terminator vibes. You know, if he had a nose. Kind of looks like one of the Metal Men from DC as well, but... That's most likely the head I'm going to use. I had to heat this up before I popped it on to the uh, neck peg, so, you know, be aware of that. It may not all be that way, but mine was. Hashtag don't break your toys. And then he also comes with the orange Skeletor armor, which, unlike the Skeletor figure, is all one solid piece, so it doesn't have a floppy upper half, and it just kind of tabs in on the back like the Skeletor armor does. I will show what he looks like with these parts a little bit close up uh, later before some comparisons, but until then we will look at him as is. And on top of those accessories, he does come with a power sword. So that's cool. It's got an orange hilt. And the blade is a nice silver. So that's cool. And he comes with a shield, which is probably my only gripe with this figure. I wish the shield had the orange on uh, the inside parts where the red normally is on the he-man shield that's kind of bland and cheap looking but you know whatever and he also has the he-man harness which detaches with these little tabs back here pretty easy to take off once you get it at the right angle but uh, looking close up at this guy you could see like the battle damage is legit like this is 100% new tooling for the torso the shoulders uh, the legs are the same i wish there was some damage on the legs but maybe there wasn't in the show so i guess they didn't really have a reason to put it there but uh, he's got damage all over this arm i believe the lower arms are the same as he-man along with the elbows but the biceps the shoulders the torso and then this head it's not the same as the other head but it is pretty close does have some damage on there and uh, you can easily pop this off and 
which uh, be careful with this neck peg on mine it's a little bit weeble wobbly i don't know why that is but it's probably just not tabbed in right you don't want to shear that off or anything but uh, you can pop the head out plug it back in nothing too difficult and you do get your rotation out of that and it does hinge up and down I will say this one seems to get a lot more movement on the ball itself than the robot head the robot heads really tight but uh, you can get a lot of up and down out of this it's got a little bit of tilt with side to side I don't know if it's sitting down on that peg all the way but certainly feels like it is shoulders go out to the side about a right angle to the body not too bad back down they rotate all the way around he's got a bicep swivel double joint at the elbow which works really well for a big bulky guy like that I know some people don't like how these are cut but you know it doesn't bug me too much He's got a swivel at the wrist with a hinge, and you can easily pop the wrist out on either side. And one thing to note, his bracer comes off. It just kind of slips over the end of the wrist. Now, it does kind of have an indentation for it. But I guess if you wanted to, you could take the He-Man figure and put the big old shield gauntlet on this side. I think we'll swap it out with the grip hand, actually do that right now no, if I can hold on it's very stiff there there you go but uh, yeah you could pop this bracelet off if you wanted to I guess torso has that odd diaphragm joint just kind of moves forward and back a little bit and tilts a little bit doesn't really rotate up there so i wouldn't try it uh, not as bad as the first wave i don't think it's free moving it doesn't feel so springy this time around so that's nice also not taking the shield out i do have it in the grip hand and it's pain the butt to get out that way it's pain the butt to put in but you know trying to save as much time as I can I already popped the head off and one of the hands he's got a waist swivel that works fine hips on this guy amazing I absolutely adore the hips on this figure I don't know what it is maybe I just got lucky we'll have to see my buddy uh, T-Biz shout out to T-Biz got this guy and funny story about that he ordered his off the website and paid like I think 28 shipped for it I bought mine in the store and had to pay like over 30 bucks. So not only did I get a Master of the Universe figure before he did, in true T-Biz fashion, I paid more than retail for it. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, what's going on here? It's a topsy-turvy world. But, uh, for once, he saves a little money. He needs to. He needs the money. But um, yeah, funny, funny story. But uh, the, the, the hips on this thing are absolutely incredible. So I don't know if this is just on mine or what, but I love this. I don't really mind that the in and out is stiff. That's okay. It's the forward and, the forward and back is just so easy to move now. It's amazing. Then he's got a thigh cut. He's got the double joint at the knee. He's got a boot swivel. He's got a hinge in the foot works all right and a rocker rockers are a little loose but nothing to worry about so yeah i really dig this guy he's pretty awesome second favorite in the line so far we'll see how uh he does against spike or in that new beast man i think i might like those a little more just because i'm more into those characters but this guy is no slouch by any means so with that being said Let's swap on some of the alternate parts before we take a look at some comparisons, shall we? Let's. And as promised, here is Faker with the alternate robot slash metallo slash terminator head and the 
bright neon orange Skeletor armor, which, as you can see, just attaches on the back the same way the Skeletor figure did, with the singular peg and the two straps looping over it. Uh, and unlike that Skeletor figure, it is one solid piece instead of two separate pieces. And while that didn't necessarily bother me about the Skeletor figure, I think the head does a decent enough job of holding that in place. It would have been nice if I had some tabs to secure it down. I will say this is a much better fit uh, for this style of armor. But with that being said, let's now take a look at some comparisons. First up, here's our new Faker figure next to a couple other Revelation Masterverse figures I've already taken a look at on the channel. We, of course, have He-Man, good old He-Man, and Skeletor, old bone face himself, and I took the liberty of putting on the alternate head for Faker on the He-Man here, so you could take a look at what he looks like with that. If you wanted to use that head sculpt on that figure, you could. I know a lot of people would have rather it had the uh, regular eyes with pupils as opposed to the straight red eyes. But that said, you could use this for a couple different scenes from the show. You could use it for the first episode where Faker is introduced. Or you could use it for the nightmare sequence when Tila fights the kind of evil version of He-Man, which had red eyes at one point in that particular scene. Uh, Quote-unquote, scare glow. So, there you go. Uh, I think it looks cool, but I'm probably just going to put the regular head on it, because, well, He-Man doesn't really look that emo. I mean, look at that hair. <laughs> Up next here is next to a couple other Faker figures I had lying around. We got the Origins, which I took a look at a few weeks ago. And the classics, which I'm gonna just get this out of the way. I kind of like these Master vs. Martin classics. I know that's blasphemy, but man, I opened up some classics recently and their feet were so darn loose, and this guy's are nice and tight, and you can actually pose them worth the crap. I mean, these at least have better articulation. I know the classics is a very cohesive line, but I think this Master vs. line has potential. They just need to tweak a few things. And last, but certainly not least, we have our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus and the Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn, who will be the dominant one in being the tallest thing on my review set for the next week or so. So with that being said, time to wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and I have to be 110% confident in saying that this is the most fun I've ever had with one of these Masterverse figures. First and foremost, I did not have to heat nor lubricate anything on this figure. He just moved really well straight out of package, with the exception of the alternate heads, which I always heat up anyway, so that... I'm just going to bypass for the time being. And you get a lot of different display options with this guy. You could essentially buy two of these and have two borderline completely different looking figures. I mean, this is how I'm going to display mine, but you could display yours any way you want. I don't know if we had this orange armor in the show, as I said before, but you know what? I don't care. It looks cool. It differentiates him from He-Man just that extra bit more. And I think it looks better that way. Especially with the kind of goofball, metallo-looking head he's got going on. My only major gripe with this figure would probably have to be that the shield lacks paint. I would have liked maybe some orange paint to go along with his uh, faker power sword there. But with that being said, if you are at all into these Masterverse figures or the Revelation series, I would highly recommend you pick this guy up. He is a lot of fun. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know whenever I upload more reviews like this one. Gotta show that algorithm who's boss, right? Because we are back, bitch. That's right. And we just hit 300 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for that milestone, which I've hit in the past, but we're not going to talk about that. But as always, hit me up on Instagram at Overlord Productions and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this guy, whether you want it, love it, or hate it. 
But remember, keep the comments civil, because the world sucks enough as it is, especially when fanboys like to complain. Fanboys love to complain. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. But wait, there's more. And in true Overlord fashion, I kind of screwed up. It occurred to me while I was editing this review that Faker's Shield does actually have the red paint on the little inner parts there, just like He-Man. So it's the same shield as He-Man. But uh, I still would have liked that to have been orange, kind of like the sword hilt. But, you know, at least the paint is there, so it doesn't look quite as cheap as I thought it did. So, you know what? Nobody's perfect. So sue me. Well, that being said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.